Today I'm going to show you how to flash these little Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensors to allow them to operate using the Zigbee radio protocol. Now this is really exciting to see that these tiny little devices that are costing about $5 that we all thought were only running on Bluetooth low energy the Tellink flasher guys have now reprogrammed their system to be able to get this working on Zigbee. Now, I have had a lot of people saying that they couldn't get this to work. And the first time I tried it, I thought mine was not working either. But what happened, the strangest thing happened was I flashed two of these devices with the Zigbee software and I just left them. I thought they'd failed and they, the next minute I tried to connect them, they would not connect However, I went back to my Zigbee the network the other day and I found that they'd connected themselves up. I've now got two of them running on the Zigbee network, working perfectly. Another thing that I was told was that they drain a lot of energy. Mine do not seem to be draining much energy. Apparently the software has been upgraded to ensure that less power is used. So follow along with me, see how it works for you and please give me some feedback on what you think about this. These devices do work great on Bluetooth and along with their Bluetooth proxy, they are absolutely bulletproof, but I always like trying new things. So you give it a bash and let me know. So having a look here, we've already got one in my system, this Xiaomi LYWS D03. And as you can see, it's bringing in there the humidity, um, the temperature and it is also bringing our battery. So, now the you need to go to this um, Tellink flasher link. Now I'll put the link in the description below. So One. before you go and flash it with the Zigbee software, you need to go over here. I'm running Chrome, but if you're running on another browser, you just need to click this link over here or I'm going to copy it and we're actually going to paste it in here. All right, there we go. And then I will enable it and I will relaunch. So now we connect to the device. There we go. We press the connect button and you'll see now it's starting to search for a Bluetooth device. Now, there's a whole lot of Bluetooth devices, obviously, that it's finding in my vicinity. I want to make sure that I'm connecting to the correct one. So it's either going to be called ATC something or it's going to be called LYWS something. So let's go connect again and see what is going to pitch up. Um, if it's already been flashed to the Bluetooth, it's going to be called ATC like this. All right. So the one I'm looking for is this guy over here. If you've just got one, it's going to be really simple. Then I'm going to go pair. And what it's going to do now is it's going to connect to this device. So give it a little bit of time. It is now going to connect up. And the moment it connects up, there we go. It's now connected. Now it will display the temperature shows showing you temperature you can check it's the right one 24.5 24.49 46.9 47 so i know i've connected it now you want to select the correct version of the software down at the bottom here so what you need to do is you need to select the zigbee software this one is for the um, bluetooth low energy and this one is to get it back to the original firmware. So we're going to select the Zigbee dev firmware. So there we go. It says, please confirm that you want to do this. All right. It's telling you it consumes twice as much energy. Well, I'm going to be doing some measurements and see what happens. Up to now, it's run for a week. Seems to be fine. So there we go. So it's now all set to go. All right. You can make some adjustments here. I don't make any adjustments. I just go ahead and I um, start flashing. So now you click the start flashing button over here and there we go. Everything will be erased. Yes, we're happy with that. And there we go. It's starting to erase each of the segments. So now it's completed. As you can see, it took 84 seconds. It's now disconnected and it is now telling us that it is all ready to go. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. As I've said to you before, um, I was not able to actually go to Home Assistant and select it over here, Devices and Services, um, and go to my Zigbee and um, Devices and add a new device. It would not pick it up over here. 
it basically just searches and searches and searches and it couldn't find anything however after time and i can't tell you how long because i thought it hadn't worked but all of a sudden i went along to my zigbee and i saw that i had two of them connected via the zigbee network and there we are we can see the battery power is doing really well we can open it up we can see the temperature and the humidity over there we can see that it is operating and it is fully operating on a zigbee compared to my other ones which are if we have a look they are running on ble so there are my bluetooth these are the other xiaomi temperature humidity sensors not that one that's not connected but there we go so those are the other devices connected via bluetooth low energy and they are connecting via my bluetooth proxy so there we well that's it for today's short video let me know what you think if you can get this working tell me what you think of the idea of running these little devices on zigbee and please like and subscribe if you want more of these videos and i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now